gitu. Dana ya. Dana ya.
are both teams present? Isaka two is here. There is here. Thank you. We may commence the beginning. Good afternoon, everyone. We will now be commencing the debates. Our judges for today's debate will be Mr. Diane Baduge, an entrepreneur, corporate trainer, and the director of Eddie One. Ms. Imesha Gajavira, an entrepreneur and a researcher. We have Ms. Tamali Pereira, who is a career counselor at Eddie One. The topic for today will be This House Believes That Tuition Education Should Be Banned. I believe, sorry, I repeat, this house believes that tuition education should be banned. Devi Balka Vidyalaya will propose, while Visaka Vidyalaya will oppose today's motion. Each speaker will have eight minutes to speak. We kindly request that all speakers stick to the allocated time given. We also request that all the speakers keep their cameras on through the debate as the judges will be able to penalize you for not doing so. You may now start the debate. Thank you. Um, excuse me, um, just to clarify one small problem, is the speech is seven or eight minutes? It'll be eight minutes. You can see me, right? Okay. Yes. Educated judge panel, members of the opposition, members of my own team and members of the house. Today, as a proposition, we support the motion that this house believes that tuition education should be banned. In this motion, we identify two main key terms. First one will be tuition, which is a fee paid for instruction or teaching, usually for higher education. Tuition can describe as any payment made for instruction, however, even for an eating class. And being banned means being prohibited. With that entry, let me elaborate on our motion first. First, let me state how tuition education has affected the current education system in our country. Current education system in our country is a free education system which started in 1st of October 1945 with the objectives of that every person with talents should be allowed to help the highest rank with equal rights and every education, any standard, should be provided freely. In this standard, there is primary from 1 to 5 and junior from 6 to 9, senior from 10 and 11, college from 12 and 13. With the introduction of free education system, there was a rapid development till 1947, where 54 central colleges were made. By 1967, there was 73% of increase in medical, engineering, and your university students. And with that, let me, let me tell you how tuition education has affected the free education system. A teacher in a free education system usually need various qualifications to be a teacher and a degree is a must in that and additional to those qualifications they also receive teaching experiences through teaching schools and they also receive another education about a kid's mentality and how they will react to various needs and because of tuition education being introduced to our country this teacher's value, the free government, free education system's teacher's value have been lost. There's less appreciation for what, are we, what we are provided free of charge. That's the human nature. And tuition education has made it an advantage. And therefore, now there's less appreciation for free education system and the less appreciation for hard work of the teachers in free education system who constantly make us do better in our achievements. For example, a, t a free tuition education system teacher would post banners, posters, ads displaying how he has received this uh, this MBBS and PhD. But nobody, but no one of us go check whether they actually have MBBS or actually have PhD because we are attracted to the advertisement. If you are, the advertisement is attractive enough, we will definitely go and check it. And even if you don't like it, we, they will sign us up. 
and if we don't go to that class let's see let's say somehow we uh, got the got a rank through free education system but they will definitely publish your face to get a profit out of you when you don't even you didn't even learn that that's a that's the type uh, that is the most descriptive uh, description i could give for tuition education it's a business rather than education and even the government nowadays has described it as a profitable business where psychologists have said that the tuition education system is a system which robs the children out of their childhood and affects child health in negative impact uh, and as i've said as i've been as i've said before these teachers are less qualified and since we don't check they have they use that uh, not checking uh, that we don't check to advertise themselves to publish their achievements but they don't actually have achievements and they use child's identity to prove to get more followers to get more students to their institution they basically rob child's identity even though the child is not a part of it and uh, it has discouraged the free education system greatly for example, Maldives have 99.8 literacy rate in males and 98.9 literacy rate in females. And almost all the Maldives students learn from here. They don't go to tuition here, but they go to free education system school. And they have this much, this higher literacy rate. And even Sri Lanka has 92% literacy rate, where most of the time people don't actually go to tuition institutions. You might heard of famous personalities in Sri Lanka who have been named as one of the most intelligent minds in, in the whole the world, like Anand Kumaraswamy, and they don't even they don't even go to one tuition class. They basically have nothing when they are when they are in their academic career. They don't have enough food for eat to, to eat in the food to eat all day. They might not have enough food to eat for the three meals they might just go uh, two meals in hunger that's the kind of education we had but with the introduction of free education system lots of this has been gone because it's free of charge you don't have to pay for it and the free education system has been going down for with the introduction of tuition okay. education because uh, accepted ma'am Um, do you believe that it is possible for children to get a really good education without going to uh, without getting this extra education by the tuition classes? If you want extra education, you could just ask the teacher to give you an extra education. You have teachers in your school, almost like two hundred and fifty teachers. You can have extra education in your class. Yes, I believe, and yes, so that I believe that you don't need to go to any tuition class to get extra education. And uh, as I've said before. Free education system downfall was contributed by the uh, tuition education system because of the factors it has like peer pressure, competitiveness and high expectations. And because of these negative impacts in society that these these facts make a child's life basically uh, basically unpleasant and tuition has used this facts to get get its trending to get its its movement going on. And I don't know why my opposition actually debate when they were given the they were granted the education by the free education itself. Before the free education was in, in, uh, in, introduced to our country, sexism was a major cause in our country and women were not allowed to study. But then they are debating for a fact tuition education uh, to have it when it's when it's clear that it has been the downfall of free education system, which has granted us to study. And um, it had also have different class systems. Uh, it, it also divide people because of the high fees it has and distance people further. They might go to, like, to the ancient age where people are so distant and making drastic distance between people. They're, they're making class divisions between people in the society. Even if you want have moderate fees, just take a uh, average family's wage in uh, usually have 50,000 to 60,000. And how could you expect person to actually contribute to this free education? And uh, with that, uh, we will be proving how a child's academic career, uh, personal life and uh, the health and other factors will be affected. 
uh, and let me move to academic career. About 80% of institutional education system lack practical and logical experiment. In 1991, Malaysian uh, government conducted a survey where 36 percent of students had said that tuition education system dominates their life this is the gift that is granted and uh, they lose ability to be creative adaptive and innovative they become recital parrots instead of human human analysis they have already and most of the uh, child care centers and most of the educational centers have negative Is the next speaker ready? Uh, can I have a moment? Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Should I start? Yes, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The motion for today is this house believes that tuition education should be banned. And as side opposition, we strongly oppose this motion. For our purpose, we'd like to redefine the word tuition as transfer of knowledge to individuals or groups to uplift their knowledge on their studies. This could be mainly school studies. This uh, tuition education can be free or can be charged at a price. So first of all, let me explain about the education market. In the Sri Lankan context, education is a competitive market, mainly in the middle class of the society. Reason being, the education is the main driver for the success of their job security. The supply in this market is the teacher with deliverables and the consumer is the student with expectations. Due to mismatches of the teacher's deliverables and the student's expectations in the government, a government free education system at school, there exists a market imperfection. Private tuition is the only means to fill this gap and support less capable students with high expectations so to succeed in their education with the help of highly talented tuition teachers. In order to better understand the context in which we support, which this support is required, let me give you a scenario with different combinations of typical uh, of in a, in a typical school. So we have good students and good teachers, which should invariably generate good results. There are also good teachers and bad students, which should also result in a good outcome. Then we have bad teachers and good students, which will be a difficult situation albeit produce good results because of the student's enthusiasm. Lastly, we have, a, uh, we have bad teachers and bad students. Then there's a gap between teachers deliverable and the student's expectations. We can use tuition classes to fill this gap between them. In that case, external support is required because you, you have no choice at school. Whether you like it or not, you have to stick to the teacher who is assigned you. So we agree that the current tuition education environment is not so healthy. So we'd like to propose a viable model that can be used to streamline this tuition system. We propose to form a central body to regulate the tuition system. This will ensure the quality of service, the pricing of the product, social and ethical conduct. The regulator needs to examine these teachers' ability of the tuition, uh, the teaching ability of the tuition teachers, and, and there had to be like a rapid continuous assessment to mark them through, through student parent uh, feedback mechanism. Then again, there should be a district level pricing strategy based on the uh, affordability of the parents. The teachers will be subject to random audits by the regulator to determine that there are no ethical or moral misconducts. Also, there, there should be a way to penalize teachers who are doing private tuition against these regulations, like, uh, for example, like uh, private practice of doctors. Okay, so moving on to my argument today, 
we, we have two arguments for the house today equality based on education and the quality of the teachers the second one is benefits of for the students i'll start my argument equality based on education and the quality of teachers with an example say for instance if you are from monaragal and you are from an underprivileged background and your parents are not so educated either and you don't get the necessary support for ed your education from your school how would you manage your studies even if you're like um even if you're enthused to study if you don't have the enabling environment how would you get that support not everyone in this society is equal some students are fast learning and some are not so for the weak ones they definitely need support we are not equal in terms of both physical and mental formations not all students can grasp lessons in the same way one student might take an hour to understand a lesson while another might take a week to get it so in this way there are like huge disparities when it comes to education in a country like sri lanka think of it this way there are there are books of different uh, different sizes but if you try to put the uh, put a cover of the same size to all of those books it won't fit so um, this is what is happening in in uh, in sri lanka and this is what will happen if we ban tuition even though some can learn well some cannot but teachers uh, teach the same way to all students irrespective of their iq level and absorbing capacity with tuition education teachers can cater to the uh, cater to personalized requirements we are living in an era where everything is personalized and uh, customized and so why not education the opposition will argue that that this can be done by school teachers but do you have a choice there so additional support can be given by the same teacher who taught you the lesson at school but if you don't understand the teacher's style what difference will it make so another benefit this would derive is that the capable teachers get a chance to disseminate their knowledge for example if you have a good science teacher in your school if the tuition is banned the teacher service would be confined to your own school so it won't be equal we all know the teachers are paid by the government irrespective of the teacher's performance so it doesn't really matter to them whether the student understand the lesson or not so in countries like uk and usa where there are good education system they they have a teacher student ratio of 1 to 15 but if you look at sri lanka it's nearly double the ratio here so how do you expect a teacher to deliver a quality job if you look at our uh, if you look at our schools there are about 50 students in one class with different learning capacities how do you expect how do you expect the teacher to attend to each one of them within the 40 minutes given to them obviously these students need additional support so in a tuition class things work differently so if the teacher is doing a good job then he can survive in this competitive market otherwise he will be gone within a year so this competitive environment in the tuition education creates an incentive for the teachers to teach well and then with that the students will naturally be benefited so this is this has a performance based incentive system unlike the school so they have a higher incentive to make their students get through the exams so also we need to recognize the positive social impact created by some of these influential private tuition teachers uh, for example uh, this there's this tuition teacher called tissa jananayaka so this the he's a very famous uh, tuition teacher so they they don't only impart subject knowledge but also they they also give you like uh, moral conduct they also uh, impart knowledge on moral conduct uh, ethical cultural values to the students which will make them responsible citizens in the society so uh, i like to uh, move on to a rebuttal so the first speaker said that the tuition is dependent uh, depended on advertisement so if the if the like it, it the advertisement advertisements are not always false and also since this is a competitive market these kinds of things should be used to survive so also they said that this tuition education is stealing the identity of the students but how else can the teacher prove themselves and prove their work out uh, other than the students results so just because the tuition is banned do you think all this uh, poverty will eradicate no so therefore we urge the uh, 
judges to side with side opposition. Is the next speaker ready? Yes. Am I audible? Yes, you are. You may begin. Okay. Good afternoon, dear all. Let me move on. First, let me move on to the rebuttal of the points. So first, the opposing team bought the point that there are like a uh, uh, children's in Monaragala and such uh, uh, rural villages and like uh, there is not a, a, a that there is not a good education in their schools and they are like they is, they, their villages and their side is not that much standard so what about like if if, if, the, if the village is not standard low if the place is not standard so how the uh, people who live there are standard they may be really like uh, poor than uh, us but, so they don't have like uh, they, they don't have money to just to pay for their tuition fee you are just only talking about the rich ones just think about the ones who are in uh, living in rural places and villages like that you just need to think about them also they don't even have some of students don't even have money to buy a pair of uh, shoes to wear to school so how that how can they uh, find money to pay for their school and also you said uh, uh, there are like uh, 55 students in uh, in one classroom and teacher can't like uh, just look after all of these students yeah that's correct so just think about the tuition classes there are 100 students and 1000 students and there are students like that especially in a level classes so how the teacher can like go uh, go through them and so how the teacher can uh, look after all of them that's uh, really impossible than the than the school thing and also you said that the morale conduct uh, thing uh, uh, as example you said you got the thesis jananayaka sir and everything but just, just uh, only but I, I would like to ask only those uh, tuition uh, can only those tuition teachers give this morality can't school uh, school teachers give this probably school teachers also giving us morale so we just don't need to go to a tuition class just to get only a morale that's that's not necessary and also uh yeah, uh, let me move on to the points of my speech. So as my first point, I'm going to talk about the physical and mental health. So how these tuition classes affect the health of students. Do you know, today some students are overpacked and very busy than the ones who are doing jobs. At morning, we go to school and spend like seven to eight hours there and return back with assignments and homework. And then again, go to tuition classes and spend like more three or three to four hours there. And again, return back with tons of homework and assignments. And then we started to do those. After start this, we don't have time to spend with our parents and siblings. So this may cause to poor interconnection with family members. It's really harmful, especially having a poor interconnection with siblings is more harmful than the poor interconnection with parents because siblings are the ones who can understand us and who can self help to solve our problems because they are in this they are in our age we are in the same age so later uh, when we got a problem and uh, when we got something like uh, solving problems and things like that we're not going to have help from our siblings so that will be a real mental issue for us in future and also because of lot of homework and because there is no time to do those they just have to get a short sleep teens and children probably need a better sleep not only children every human must have a sleep from eight to nine hours but because of these uh, tuition classes and being busy uh, students usually get a very short sleep like five to six hours this may cause harm to both physical and mental illness if we don't go to tuition classes and if we save that time we can do our homework and assignments at that time and we become free from our tuition homework and we become free from half of our homework Furthermore, they become depressed because of this. They may think like, can I finish those today? What will happen? I couldn't do teachers will blame at me. And they think such things like that, this, and they automatically get depression. And this is a real harmful mental illness most of students are facing today. And depression became the second leading cause for disability in 2020. It is strongly linked to the occurrence of non-communicable diseases like blood pressure and other. Because of this, physical inactivity, smoking and drinking, and insufficient sleep happening. 
112 Americans die every day because of these and second leading death because of individuals under 15 to 25 years. At least one out of five children have depression. 16% of students face mental illness. 48% students in Sri Lanka have subject depression. And also most of children do not have time to stay after school for sports or any other extracurricular activities that they prefer. So not doing sport is really harmful. As you know, it's really harmful for our physical health. We don't even have time to play with our siblings or play with our friends. So we must do a sport or any other activity. If not, that will be a really harmful to our body. And also when talk about the capability, most of students don't have freedom to choose their way because parents are always telling just to study, study and study. They really get depressed because of this. And also, as I said, by going tuition classes, they don't even have time to do any other extracurricular activities that they prefer, that they like. They may be like really talented for something else, but they don't have a chance. They don't have time to recognize their talents by being so busy as little children and as teenagers we should not be that much busy you may say we can manage our time but we can't because there is no time to manage if we become much busy like this and also if we didn't understand anything we can ask that from our class teacher or any other subject teacher we don't need to go to a tuition class just to get that thing if you ask something from teachers they will literally teach that thing to you they never say what nonsense didn't you get this little thing go i don't have time to explain those they never they will probably solve your problem and uh how this tuition classes affect students' private life. As I said before, students get a poor interconnection with siblings and parents because of being so busy. So they lost the love, care, and the concern of their family members. Love, care, and concern is one of the major need in child's life. Because of losing love and care, 5% angst, 9% of loneliness, 6% of less friendly association, and 9% of suicidal thoughts are happen and actually 7% attempt to suicide. There is a less security in tuitions than the security in schools and in home. When they lost the attention of their parents, they maybe have bad friends, alcohol addict friends and friends like that. They also may be alcohol addicted because of this. And also, uh, when we talk about this unbalanced development, neglect of individuals, wholesome attitude towards a particular subject, development of concerns, neglecting a morality and scale of values. And my final point is by this tuition education, students just have a theoretical education. That is not what we need. The thing we need is a practical education, but not a theoretical one. By the theoretical education, we became like parrots who are answering the question by something we studied and studied but not learn. That is the problem with today's society. Students really have knowledge, but they are not intelligent. So finally, I believe the proposition stands strong with the motion, tuition classes should be banned. Thank you. Is the next speaker ready? Yes, may I start? Yes, you may. Am I audible and visible? Yes, you are. Um, so first, I would like to start with some rebuttals against that proposition. Firstly, um, um, they talked about, uh, my, the second speaker of said proposition came up and said, that the children in the rural areas won't have enough money to pay for tuition or even to buy a pair of shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why we're saying that we are going to give um, affordable prices to uh, the children in those areas so they can afford to go to the station classes. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to give a district level, uh, district level pricing so that um, the children in the rural areas can also afford to go to these um, tuition classes, same as the children in the um, like places like Karambo. So, um, and also the second speaker said that children go for tuition and they don't get enough sleep and all. But don't you think that sometimes students train their minds and study too much for exams? 
children they started till midnight maybe sometimes even one two o'clock in the morning just because they want to get that uh, that what they did during class so they can write the exam and pass so uh, for example the, uh, the children are writing for the all of a level papers they study till midnight every day so they know everything so they can get nine years or three years and pass so they can become a success in life for example i could take my cousin sister not right now uh, you could take my cousin sister she's writing her levels next month and she hasn't got a second to relax she's been studying and studying and studying and i can see it from her face so if she does go for these uh, tuition classes she could minimize the amount that she studies till late night uh and also by uh, failing the exam you could get depression not by going for tuition classes but tuition classes does it helps you it helps you study for your exam it doesn't make you depressed um yeah so um that's it with my rebuttals if i move on to my argument uh, are there any pos I would like to give you all a small brief on what we are going to tell today before we start. So, um, a good education is a re is required by all of all students to success in, to succeed in life, uh, to to have a great job and to succeed. And um, now, I want you all to ask yourself, Sir Prop, that if the does this school alone does our schools alone give that required education do we receive what we need to succeed only by schools alone most often as i know and as you all actually know the answer is no school alone cannot provide that education to us we they cannot give us everything we need all the um, small bits we need to learn to uh, succeed so that's why we need tuition classes. So tuition classes give us that extra push, that extra push towards succeeding our goal, fulfilling our dream. We need tuition to get that extra push to become a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher. In the future, we need that extra push of education because we cannot succeed in life without that push. Um, saying that, I'd like to move on to my argument about the benefits we get from tuition. So there are two main groups that benefit from tuition, and that's obviously the teachers and the students. The way the teachers, ben the teachers benefit are the fact that they get an additional pay uh, to do this uh, tuition classes, and they also get to teach the students um, more slower, and they get to give examples and get the students to understand properly. Uh, those are the benefits that the teacher gets and uh, this benefit student gets as that they get focused, they get focused on, they get individual attention. Like my first speaker said, in classes, there are 55, 60 students and everyone does get a chance to speak up. But aside from position, second speaker said that there are classes with hundreds and thousands of children. That is true. Those aren't classes, those are seminars. You don't actually get... Um, uh, you, you do get thousands of students, but they they're not right now. They're they're in A level classes. So they have got used to that stress feeling. But we're talking about the children in grade eight, nine, ten. They need individual attention because they their minds are still young. They have a lot of questions to ask. They have a lot of feel uh, things to express and they can't do that in a school class. But in a because um uh, but in a tuition class, they get the chance to express themselves because when they raise their hand in class, not everyone gets to answer the question or ask a question. But in tuition classes, every single child gets to express their ideas. Um, and also that they get, um, because it, it's school, you get, uh, I'm so sorry, I had a technical issue. Um, at school, we get uh, a 45 minute period to cover um, a particular amount of studies during um, for that subject. But at uh, classes, at tuition, you get two hours or one and a half hours to go slower because in that 45 minutes, the teachers try to cram as much as they can into those kids' heads and they go super fast. At my school, there's a history teacher that does not stop even for a second. She reads and reads and reads and get, expects us to get everything into our head. But that isn't easy for us. We're still young minds. We can't process all of that in one go. We need time to think, 
to process and then to answer because we can't at once okay this is this is this is right everything down and then ask it's impossible but in tuition classes you get no, um know. not right now they 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 get us chance to express ourselves after after um after they we taught the lesson we get a chance to ask um and also i am sure side proposition i'm sure you go to tuition classes i'm sure all three of you or, or even the reserve maybe if she's here will go to tuition classes you guys are definitely going i'm sure of it and you should know that your education the the, the level of your mind is increased from before you went your grades might have gone up you might have got a higher place in class you might be smarter than what you were before and you can't say no to that cuz that's an actual point um and also just as a fun fact there's over a thousand institutes uh, in institutes in colombo uh, not in colombo in singapore sorry in singapore and singapore is such a developed country because of this um and also tuition um um okay yeah, i want to prove so i want to um get something clear there tuition is given to more than just school kids they given to kids with degrees kids at campuses and universities and all those not only to school kids so all those kids need this extra knowledge knowledge um and also we aren't saying that tuition is given only by teachers it's given by accountants um economics businessmen because and also okay for example a ceo of a company decides to um share her experience that that is a tuition class she's sharing her experience her experience in life how she became a ceo and she had to go through tuition classes to become smart to be, to have a company um and also tuition has been around for a long time so taking it away would be really bad um i hope you side with that opposition thank you he's the next speaker ready Right? Yes, you are. So dear all, I'll be moving on to the rebuttal of points brought up by the opposition. So the captain mentioned that education is a competitive market, and don't you see that education has become a market, a competitive market, just because of tuition itself? Well, be uh, considering education as a market is not such a good thing. But this has become so just because of the tuition classes. Because the rich children get to go to tuition classes, and the poor can't. And the rich children might may get some more education when the others can't. And that would make uh, the education. a highly competitive market so this has arose just because of tuition the tuition is the first thing that was because of this and you also mentioned that that uh, students expectations are high uh, and that also ha has arose because of this tuition itself because when children go to tuition classes they think that they gain more knowledge but we don't know whether those teachers are qualified or not uh, whether they put an mbbs or phd on the advertisement where children don't go on searching whether this tutor has this specific qualifications and you also mentioned that there are high talented tutors well that can be so but how can you be sure that every single tuition class has a qualified teacher the majority is not qualified teachers well most of the tuition teachers put on tuition classes because they couldn't become teachers and you also mentioned that uh, if the child doesn't like the assigned teacher that would be hard to understand well if the child can't understand what the teacher is telling well in a school there can be multiple teachers for one subject so if Uh, the student can't understand the what the first teacher said. She can always go to the second teacher and ask ask her about the lesson. But a teacher would never deny a question 
education question asked by a student as my second speaker also said and you also mentioned that it would a benefit for student but i would love like to ask you what is the benefit for students when they are going to school and going to classes and they are very tired some and it's very hard to continue it's very hard to focus on studies even when you're so busy when you're going to school and then tuition class and you are when you go to tuition class you do the exact same lesson done in the school so maybe a child can go to two or three tuition classes for one subject so that child is doing it over and over again that child is doing the same homework the same assignment over and over again so it would be very depressing for the child and it would be very tiresome and the child might even hate that subject because it's a very heavy burden to a small child and you also mentioned that not every child is alive some are weak and some are good well that that might be correct but if a child is weak well our textbooks in sri lanka has been made according so that it is suitable for self study so if a child wants to succeed they can always self study self revise there's no need of going to tuition classes and depressing yourself and you also mentioned that there's no choice in teachers when you're going to school but that's not true because well, as i mentioned earlier also there are multiple teachers for one subject so they can ask at the other teacher if they want to know what what they couldn't understand and you also mentioned that by this a teacher service be will only be limited to one school but haven't you don't you know that teachers get transfers and transfers and they go from school to school and so that's not unfair and you also mentioned that how can we expect the teacher to teach all the students and get the idea of the lesson in just 40 minutes well i would like to ask uh, does the teacher teach only 40 minutes in a week to a child well no they teach 40 minutes in each day according to the subject and, and if a tuition class is only 2 hours in a whole week then that won't be as that that won't be as a time period as we are learning in school that might be a very limited time and they you said that tuition classes don't rush but they will obviously rush because they have a limited time more than the school and you also mentioned that advertising children on their phone because they had to prove their sales but are you saying that it's right to publish the children who got ranked just for the sake of the teacher just for the betterment of the teacher then what would happen to the child if she doesn't like if she or he doesn't like to be published like that then it could be invading her rights and you also you also mentioned that that you're going to give affordable prices in a district level pricing well if in most of the rural areas in sri lanka as we already gave some statistics children don't even have money to for transportation to go from home to the school so they don't even have money to buy shoes or buy clothes or even school bags or even books even so how can we expect those children to afford a tuition class even if they are you are giving an affordable price that that won't help those poor children whether you give affordable price or not and you also mentioned that depression uh, tuition is not the cause for depression it's because of children study too much and they study past midnight well that's a child fault but if let us say that a child is going to a tuition class she is going to school and coming home from the home after going to the tuition class and then she the student has to do all the homework given by the school all the homework given by the tuition as well then after she does that she has to go through those lesson uh, lessons again that would be really tiresome and very depressing for a child to do it all over again so well the children don't have a choice they are studying until midnight because it's so depressing because they go to school and also tuition classes well if children don't go to 
tuition classes, they can finish their homework and finish their studying and get adequate sleep. And you also mentioned that a teacher can benefit by getting an additional day wage, but by saying this can be can be tell students to go to tuition class just, just for the teacher's sake. And you also mentioned that uh, A level classes are used to stress. Well, aren't they also children? They they many we have proven that many have attempted even suicide because of his depression. So I think we have proven our points and the proposition has an upper hand of this debate. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, so first I'd like to start with a couple of rebuttals. Um, first of all, tuition helps us a lot in our education. Like my second speaker said, um, some teachers, they talk really fast because we only have like a 45 minute period. And some, um, let's say it's a subject like IT, the subject only has one um, one period per, per week. And if a student goes for uh, to, to tuition, um, that student will get a better education in that subject. Um, and first, uh, first students, sorry, teachers don't just steal the identity of um, the identity of the key, uh, student to put on the advertisement. They don't do that. Usually they ask the student and then put it. And um, another thing, um, also lots of, um, don't people also put um, children in advertisements like Milo, um, sausages, um, butter, milk. They put it in so many things. They put children in um, those. Uh, not right now. Um, and teachers have around 1,200 students to teach because a, uh, um, a teacher, a teacher's at least, um, sorry, a, te um, a teacher has, has at least 150 students in each um, grade. And usually they teach three grades and three classes. And uh, let's say that a teacher, a teacher seven, a 6A, 6B and 7, 6C, 7A, 7B and 7C, 8A and 8 B and eight C, then they'll have like um, a thousand students teach, and um, they can't just uh, if a student answer asks a question, the teacher on um, if the teacher asks a question, the st only one student can answer because the teacher doesn't have much time and has to put a lot of uh, stuff into their brain in the forty five minute period. But in a tu tuition class, we they have at least two hours of time to. Um, to um, express, the children have time to express themselves and they have uh, time to uh, ask the teachers, um, ask the teachers questions and understand it, prop understand the subject properly. And um, also, um, and um, side um, proposition, second speaker said, brought this out, brought out that there's at least a hundred students in um, around grade eight um, to tuitions. Well, there's, at, there's only about 25 students, which makes it easier for the teacher to um, keep the children in control and for the teacher to teach the students better because they um, the teacher might has more time to um, put it in their heads. They don't, they don't have to like quickly, quickly, quickly put it into the head in the 45 minute period. They can, they have two hours so they can very nice and slowly do it. And if they have at least just two um, tu tuitions per, per week, that should be enough. Cause that's four hours of, um, four hours of the, uh, four hours of tuition. And that should be enough for the week. And they get a lot in their brain more than, more than they get at school. Um, and also, uh, my second speaker said that we'll be um, in each um, district. We'll be um, dropping, sorry, uh, make uh, putting affordable prices and not prices like thousand five hundred, six thousand for a class, so that the rural kids may um, may get a good education as well as rich kids. And um, and um, and um, if the uh, teachers. Uh, put affordable prices, they'd also get a benefit because more students would enroll in their class and that way they would make more money and the uh, students would get more um, education. They, um, the, but the teacher won't um, 
just to clarify the teacher won't put all the students in one class the teacher will uh, put uh, let's say a class on monday tuesday wednesday and thursday so that the all the students won't be in one place at the same time so that the teacher can uh, um, teach the students better and uh, also my first and second speaker said that it's um, some children some children's brain brains don't develop as fast as other children like um, for instance uh, sorry uh, my uh, also um, a lot of students they do have uh, thousands or hundreds of students in one spot but that like my second speaker said that's a seminar and also um, it was really hard. Uh, my sister also did uh, A-levels this year, sorry, last year. And she had so much of pressure because um, at school she uh, didn't learn a lot because the teachers didn't teach properly. But she went to tuition classes and uh, she's doing. she did a really good job and she's very proud of what she did. And um, she thinks she'll get a really good um, grade. So that way the tuitions make, don't depress you. But when you um, sometimes when you go to school the teacher can just teach bad and the, the teacher will either way get a pay but the student won't get a good education and they will fail an exam and that's what makes you depressed not a tuition ex, um, tuition sometimes they might in tuition they might give um, um assignments and homework hey, uh, not right now they usually um they usually give a little because the te those um, teachers know that uh, they give a lot of homework from school and they know that they uh, the students have to do that work that and that works more important than the work that the tutors give. And um, uh, also, um, my second first speaker said that teachers at school um, have to complete an entire semester. And let's say that it's um, let's say it's like English you might have like four periods per week but that's not enough some students might be poor in this subject and don't might not get it but if the, uh, that student goes for tuition that student will understand the language and um, they get a better grade and some aren't able to keep up with the teacher because uh, the teacher uh, usually talks really fast so that they can get a lot of uh, knowledge into the students' heads before the um, bell rings. But as you do that, the students' brain can't take that much pressure and they um, that's how they get depressed. But if they go for a tuition class, they'll be able to, um, the teachers will be able to give uh, very slowly, they'll put the stuff in their brain, uh, the subject in their brain and um, it'll be, a e it'll, they'll have an easier time doing the exam and they know that they're good they get a good grade because um, they went for a tuition class and they um, and they um, uh, um, and they know that the teacher nicely and slowly put this um, put this um, facts and figures in their brain and also um, the sec third speaker side uh, of proposition said that um, so textbooks today have um, spots where you can just read and understand but what if um, let's say it's maths if they uh, do math if they um, do the equation they won't know if it's wrong or right but if they go for a tuition class uh, the teacher will uh, tell them to do it and they'd know if it's wrong or right and um, they'd have an easier time understanding and they um, uh, and uh, it's also a benefit for the teacher like i said before and with that i hope that um, the judicators side with side opposition uh, and thank you. Is the next speaker ready? Yes. You may begin. Uh, how, how long do I have for my speech? Uh, for the uh, summary, you have four me. minutes. How long do it? Yeah. yeah, you have four minutes. It seems that our proposition is totally misunderstood today's motion. This is not a topic to inculcate moral and ethical misconduct. The definition for tuition we gave here is transferring knowledge to bridge the gap that is in the school system not to get lectures on moral conduct. So it is just a byproduct. So it's very pathetic to see that they indulge so much in this. So the biggest, okay, so 
they came up and said this is like a big depression for kids to attend classes but the biggest depression is not classes it's when you fail the exam not study because by going to a class you can learn something and learning is not a depression so and also this is a choice you you this is not mandatory so if you want to attend a class you have to know that these kinds of homework these kinds of assessments will be given to you so then you know whether you have to then you have to decide whether you want to go there or you don't want to because this we are not trying to make tuition a mandatory thing so also the other side thinks that tuition is like another school it is not tuition is just an additional support and also if If we are not trying to repeat the same thing said in school in tuition class like the third speaker in the other side came up and said we are not trying to repeat the same thing instead we are trying to give an additional support to the subject with the what the students is we get so also the other side came up and said about this advertisements and children being in advertisements but also you have to see children are also in advertisements uh, other than for education just think about the milo advertisement there are so many other advertisements you can see in the society that with with children so it's not only educational advertisements so also the first speaker of the other side came and said mentioned about uh, a scenario where anand kumar swami never went to tuition education but still he survived but also you have to consider that at that time there were lesser students in the uh, a levels or other exams nowadays there are about 10 times multiple amount of students in uh, uh, participating for exams so also they, they they came up and said they can't manage time and they have a mental uh, they don't have a mentally free freedom so tuition is a choice again i'd like to repeat that tuition is not mandatory here and it's a choice of the students or their parents whether they want to send their kid to tuition or not and even the even they decide to go there they have to know whether to how to manage their time and also uh, also now uh, do you think if you ban tuition in sri lanka a student in monaraga like i uh, explained will be able to uplift their social standards no so it's it's like uh, don't you agree that there's a job market if you do not do not do not have an adequate education you you can't get a job from uh, like a place so uh, everyone can't learn equally so they need to they need to have this uh, tuition system so that, that will help them so uh uh also uh in our model we specifically explained that we will be have a price, we will be uh, introducing a pricing strategy so that everyone can afford it and there will there will be also qualification criteria which un, uh, our teachers will be uh, qualified under so uh, with all of the points uh, we provided i hope this uh, adjudicator sides its side opposition thank you is the final speaker ready dear all in let me move on to the sum up of this debate in this debate i identify two main clash points where my my opposition keeps saying that they could give tuition for free well we actually gave the literal definition of tuition which is a fee fee paid for instruction and therefore i believe that throughout the throughout the debate that we have proved that it is a fee that we have won the clash and they seem to think that education is everything that better education gives everything to a kid's life where we say that health is wealth there's a reason for you to say health is wealth and if you don't have adequate health if you don't have proper health a proper mental physical and spiritual health how could you be better at education as we constantly proved in our in through the debate we have proved that tuition education has a direct impact on health therefore i believe that we have won the that clash as well and 
I don't think the proposition actually understand their motion as well because they contradicted themselves too much. They actually said in the first half that teaching ability to teach and teachers should be checked. So actually you're suggesting that they are not equally, they're not qualified enough to be teachers. And you also said that you agree with us when we said that tuition classes have more students than most of tuition classes, more students than in, in a school class. And uh, then they brought up points like district level, they were introduced in the district level pricing strategy, which we successfully broke, saying that some people don't have enough money to have transportation fees or enough money to eat. And how could you expect them to go and go to a tuition when they have this much high price? And they talk about underprivileged children, which my third speaker broke successfully, saying that exactly that's our point. Underprivileged children can't go to tuition classes because they don't have enough final status to go to tuition classes. And then they brought out the point that it is competitive and high expectations, some of the negative facts in the current society. And we successfully broke the point that those negative impacts in the society arose itself because of the tuition education. And then they may talk about the their weak students and also better students, which my third speaker successfully broke, that every subject book we have has has self, it is suitable for self-studying in the first page. So obviously, anyone could self-study. And they also mentioned that 45 minutes is not enough for children to gain all the knowledge and subjects. But it was also broken by my, my proposition side successfully by saying it was decided by psychologists and they actually know a lot more than a lot more than a lot more about children's mind than other people and it's obviously tiresome for uh, for learning continuously for two and three hours meanwhile um uh, also, we also mentioned that 80% uh, of students' attendance is needed for any, uh, for any, when, for any educational exam. And we, and we also said that if that is not provided, they won't give the necessary consequences to attend the exam. So this 80% was completed by the school. How could you say that school education is not is not enough? And meanwhile, our points like that health is in, in, is in danger and how it will affect the academic education where the people will stress, people will be depressed and will be stressed out and how it will affect the personal life and less uh, connectivity between the children's parents and siblings and all that. And uh, how it will not, how people will not have enough money to attend tuition classes and how uh, uh, tuitional teachers are less qualified than teachers in the free education system, which they actually agreed. Therefore, I believe the proposition has made a lot of valid points and we have the upper hand of this debate. So therefore, I invite the judicators to join hands with the tight proposition. Thank you.
Hi all, good afternoon. Well, uh, it's time to give the judgment. Beforehand, like I want to make a few points. We are to give a like very brief analysis about how the both teams got into the topic. Uh, I have to thank you all for like joining this competition and commitment what you have shown that is all there. Especially now, I suppose like the both teams have participated for three or four debates by now. But the quality what we ex what we really expected uh, from a quarterfinal uh, was not there at all, right? Uh, especially uh, uh, even like at the point, the both teams, the kind of the base and the, the definitions what they brought into the topic, uh, I didn't see that the level of maturity what we expect, right? At the same time, like yesterday, we were uh, judging few debates, so. Uh, now, because like even as judges, after uh, after experiencing every single debate, every team who's in the competition, they are like raising up the bar step by step, and they uh, they register a set of guidelines, a set of reference point for us to judge other teams too. So in that term, I didn't see uh, the real competitiveness or the uh, or that the very uh, uh, the ideological mature level of arguments from both teams coming into the part. Ideally, the one who was like uh, uh, the proposing, uh, they would have gone to a distance where like be a little more analytical and kind of give us a very broad picture about how the education system works and how the deterioration had happened over the years um, with the with the with the tuition scenario with some valid uh, examples. And no one even like uh, even had a clue about like how the over competitive examination uh, uh, the culture which was like uh, arguably which was imposed by the by the tuition uh, by the by the tuition community over the time had made some of the exams took like for instance take take grade five scholarship for instance right uh, how those exam uh, had become a joke in, uh, in 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 recent times as we consider the past marks and not right. That is one side of the story. And again, the second part, uh, we are like uh, no one bought. Especially, I, I I have to like be a little critical towards the two leaders of the company. No one defined what were the objective of the education and how we are that the tuition community could join into uh, the uh, to uh, to justify those those objectives. That didn't uh, that we we didn't hear any of uh, in any any of such arguments, right? And then the from the terms of uh, the terms of bringing some points and uh, rebunking them uh, accordingly, well, like since that the the expected maturity was not there. Uh, after a while, we found it. It's kind of like a. Uh, Sort of a like seesaw effect, yeah. That the two parties were uh, kind of like flinging little tips here and there at each other, and they were doing their uh, the breaking through. But it, it in a in a nutshell, like it was not that convincing part, right? Uh, so that was the case, and uh, especially from the team, uh, especially from the team. Uh, who was uh, opposing, right? Uh, the examples, right? Like uh, how my history teacher would uh, conduct a lesson and uh, how poor my teacher with my delivery. That is not the set example what we are looking at a debate. You have to either generalize or like be more specific, right? Uh, neither was there. With like, so that those are the arguments, but what I would be rather happy to watch in a in a in a day-to-day -day discussion, but not in a very not at a very competitive level, right? So, despite of that, what they would have really what they would have done is like bringing down facts and figures about the the level of quality de uh, deterioration which has happened in the uh, in the state education system. For instance, like uh, I'll, I'll 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 bring up a very small example. In terms of maths and science education, 40% of the, the teachers who we 
find in the the state system uh, or in the national education system uh, who teach maths uh, for students who's below uh, ordinary level are non maths teachers in a different words like they were not the teachers who who had at least done uh, maths for their a levels right so like how we expect students to be familiar with the maybe the more most critical few subjects which has a very uh, cv impact on their uh, the betterment of tomorrow uh, what 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 would be the outcome of these with the such uh, with 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 such lack of quality uh, content masters in the in the in the streamline right so those were the points what uh, but i would have found something like so valid and something like so competitive uh, for a competition like this well but it's still still it's our job to uh, uh, declare a winner for this uh, in that case uh, it was sort of a split decision uh, like we are like three of us were having two different ideas but at the end of the day uh, we had to move with the majority decision uh the only reason the decision was made not because of the uh, not rising the amount of points being thrown into the debate uh and uh, the 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 amount of rebuttals but which 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 was brought by both teams only with such analysis only with such analysis um uh, will i'm going to declare uh devi balika uh, as a winners of the uh, the battle and uh, vishaka vidyalaya uh, again thank you so much for all the commitment and the passion you have shown but i am having it is one team supposed to be the junior so vishaka vidyal is right fine anyway so uh, this is the judgment and again the uh, wish you both, both the team the very best for all your future endeavors uh, there are like lot of positives what you can uh, take out of the competition and especially for devi balika as you progress to make sure to the maintain that the competitiveness um, if there is like you want to add any positive impact for, for the competition and uh, visaka uh, i saw like few of those girls were like they are really young so they have enough time to uh, brush their skills a little and be more mature get preparation preparation was like so poor i didn't see any of uh, any real facts and figures figures being shown in a presentable manner those little things if you all can uh, uh, brush them up a little uh, that uh, things would be better in in that from mine then uh, again my uh, humble thanks towards the uh, towards organizing to, uh, towards uh, the organizing committee and the best debate uh, uh, in both teams as a tradition uh, we have to declare it goes with uh, we will get stuck with uh, two leaders uh, from both teams right thank you so much if there are any concerns questions yeah, it's your time to speak who the best speaker best speakers were two leaders Okay then. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.